How's it going, guys? Gabe here from RC Cincy. And uh, I didn't want to set up the camera, just I always have to convert, attach files, render, just a bunch of work. And I just really wanted to uh, show you this real quickly. Um, it's going to be a quick unboxing of this helicopter right here. Um, this is a four channel copter, it's the micro series made by WL Toys. It is the model number uh, V. Uh, 911 uh, 2.4 gigahertz obviously USB charging this one has a pretty reasonable flight distance of 25 to 35 meters which it's so small I wouldn't want to get any further out you might not be able to see the copter and which direction you're going in uh, this does claim that it's indoor and outdoor it even states here that um, the first one which can be flown outdoor in the uh, in the wind uh, wind weather so it says outdoor wind grade three to four so that's probably the miles per hour. I doubt you could fly any more than that. It probably makes it harder as well. Um, looking at the back of it, it shows you all the functions that it can do. It can rise, fall, forward, backward, turn left, turn right, 360 turn, left side flying, right side flying, hover. It is a four channel pro uh, helicopter, 2.4 gigahertz with a remote. It's saying, stating basically the same. There's a picture of the remote. Now it does say that it has an LCD screen showing the helicopter, your trim functions, and your throttle and everything. So that's pretty neat. Um, comes in this box. Uh, now I did order this off of Amazon. It did claim that it had um, uh, one day shipping, which unfortunately, I guess they fell behind. They were so busy. It did come in this other box right here which had the little bubble wrap, so it was well protected. The box was in perfect condition. Sorry, I just wanted to show you guys that, that it didn't just come in this. Um, so this was $39.99. Um, I'm sure there's lots of different vendors or wherever you want to call it that sell it on Amazon. Um, this one is Prime. It has two batteries, and it states that it's same day, but it just didn't work out that way for mine. Um, I actually got it the very next day, which wasn't bad anyways. It was prime, so it was free shipping. Just to give you an overall look inside the box, um, you obviously get the quadcopter. There is a little twist tie that I did undo just to look at it quickly. Um, I haven't charged the battery yet, batteries yet, which I'm going to. Now these are fully functioning. Um, single, uh, it doesn't have the dual blades on top, so this one has complete. Um, it's very easy to control, it has a lot of control. Uh, your tail rotor in the back, top rotor, obviously. And then you can see in there, let me see if I can position it in the light to where you can see it. If you look down in there, you can see the can, how it can control the blades turning side to side so it can adjust pitch and the way it, you know, it can go forward, backward. It can just adjust a lot with that. Two little small micro servers, a big gear for the motor for the top um, uh, rotor, and then the back tail rotor has a little motor in it. Now you can get the shell and all this little framing right here for like 10 bucks off Amazon. Um, you can buy pretty much anything you want for this. So let's go ahead and set that right there. I'll get more in a little bit more detail here in a second. Uh, and then let's see here. Let's go ahead and take this tape off of here. Apologize, I am using one hand. Uh, it comes with a, look like uh, a micro B uh, USB uh, charger adapter. So this would be plugged into your computer or your wall adapter. And then this wire obviously plugs in into this uh, little charger right here, which is probably gonna be kind of hard to get out. But let me show you real quick how this does work. So you simply plug up the charger to the power and then you just line it up and simply plug these in and they just stick in like so. So it's fairly easy. There you go, there's one. You can charge both at the same time. Um, they do have individual, let me get this one out as well. It does have an individual light, so I'll let you know when each charger is charged. So it's pretty basic. So that's really nice. Um, this fits well underneath. This is a 130 milli milliamp battery, 3.7 volt single cell battery. Um, you can buy, whoops. You can buy a bunch of these off of Amazon, I think, for 10 bucks. I think you get either four or five. 
So you can just simply charge them with that. I don't believe they include a charger. I'm sure they have a package that does have a charger to charge all of them. Taking off some more tape. Looks like there's a spare, spare tail rotor blade and then the two main blades, two replacement blades, which is very nice. Um, I don't see any screws in here. So do be careful when you do take them off uh, with the screws that you do not lose them. Um, I really like to get this out of here for you guys. Hold on one second, I'm just gonna face it upward. I'm just gonna press on the back, there we go. Do the same for the battery. And there we go. There, sorry. So here is the other battery. It is 130 as well, milliamps, 3.7 volt single cell battery. So you get two batteries, which is nice. And then the charger itself, you just simply take the wire, plug it into the side, and then there you have it. These light up. I do believe, I'll read the instructions if the light goes out before or after. I'm sure the light is on, and then when they're done charging, they go out. That's typically how those chargers work, typically. I'll um, double check the instructions for you here. And then the controller itself is pretty typical of your WL Toys controllers. Um, this kind of reminds me of the uh, WL Toys um, V686G, uh, which was the uh, one that had the monitor that I could attach in the back of it. Actually, it has the same exact uh, hole, so you can actually attach the FPV monitor to that. That's interesting. Uh, I'm not sure if that's for storage. Oh, wow. You can also uh, charge... Um, that is very interesting. You can also charge your batteries from the batteries from the remote. That is amazing. That is a very, very nice feature. Let me plug that in and make sure. Yep, that's exactly what that's for. So let's say you're out about flying. You go ahead and you go home, you charge your two batteries, you bring this with you in your little box, which I recommend keeping. You can just simply charge your batteries again so you get four flights. I'm not sure of the length and time it takes. Now, it does require one, two, three, four, five, six. Looks like six AA batteries, um, which I got the rechargeable, so it's not going to bother me if it if I charge from there. If they go dead, you know, I just simply recharge the batteries again. It, it does light up blue LCD screen. Uh, I'm going to get to kind of look at the controls and see what does what. Let's go ahead and lift this up. There is the twist tie, so that was held in place to keep it from bouncing around. Here's the instructions. Uh, looks like they're English and Chinese or Japanese. Apologize, I don't know, I'm not sure what language. Shows you all your features you get. Um, let's see here, it tells you about the helicopter, just kind of how everything goes and what everything does. The boom, the uh, canopy, the blades, yep. Uh, looks like the main rotor housing, all that. It shows you just kind of gives you the name of everything and how what it does, I guess, pretty much. It shows you the proper way of functioning, how it functions. Um, the gear, how to, probably how to fix or maintain anything. Here we go. Here is the control. So, looks like you got your rudder conversion changing button. Not sure if that lets you flip or not. That would be interesting to find that out. Your stick, obviously, you have speed trim, you have directional trim, you have power switch, obviously, LCD display, uh, crab trim, I guess that's the back of it, and then your uh, directional control stick trim. So that's pretty cool. It does say right here that this is a charging plug cover, so I was correct. Battery lid, let's see what else. Shows you the proper way to charge it, and the key and the indicator light. Read that the battery is being currently charged, and then I guess when the indicator light goes out, you're good to go. Six AA batteries, let's see if it, um, approximately, okay, so here we go. Flight time is about five to seven minutes. Get a little closer, I apologize about that. And then approximate charge time, it's at 0.2 amps, so it takes about 30 minutes to charge, which isn't bad at all. Uh, transmitter operation is about 18 hours. We have to recharge the batteries. Non-rechargeables. So I'd, I'd get rechargeables. Just that way you could keep charging from that. And it's not going to you know, it's not gonna cost you a bunch of batteries. It just shows you the basic controls. Uh, what's positive and what's negative on the battery. How to properly plug it up underneath. 
So it's pretty, it's pretty intuitive. It does show you everything, uh, how everything functions, uh, troubleshooting, which control does uh, which direction and everything. So it'd be pretty easy to figure it out. Um, I don't see anything about inverted flying yet. I don't know if you can or not. Here is a diagram of all the parts. For this quadcopter, there were parts available. I did see that on Amazon. I'm sure other sites as well. The model number. So there you have it. That's a pretty detailed unboxing. Um, I'm very anxious to fly this. I think this would be a lot of blast. I might start out with a quick little video indoors. I might even go outside. I do have to cut the grass today, unfortunately. So I'm going to be outside. So I think I'm going to take this for a spin. I'm going to go ahead and let these charge. So that was just a quick... Uh, unboxing um i did manage to uh the winner for the uh last surprise drawing did we did have issues at first contacting each other but he did uh share his information with me um i will get that out to him and um remember guys 50 subscribers is not that far away i do believe i was either at 34 or 35 subscriptions so you know, we're not that far away. If just a few, get a few family and friends to subscribe, and then we'll have another giveaway. So you never know what might be in it. Um, I'm sure it'll be a good one. So definitely worth it. Of course, check out the other videos I have. Don't forget to like, and subscribe, and comment below if you have any questions or any suggestions. Feel free. And I think that pretty much does it. So um, the next video you'll probably be seeing is me flying this indoor and outdoor. And I should be posting that soon. So thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.